Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, well, it's 420. So we're gonna be celebrating 420 all episode and all day. Um, today, as I'm recording this, it's not 420. In fact, it's, uh, you know, the Saturday before. Um, but I have to record this. We gotta get prepared. You gotta get ready for the festivities. You gotta get ready for the day that is 420. Now. You already know the ongoing joke. If you're really celebrating 420, you're probably not a pothead. You're probably not a smoker. Bruh. <laughs> because if you're a smoker, you know, 420 is every day. And that's just the reality of it, right? So at least for me, and I think a lot of people out there that like to smoke on a regular basis, like this guy's green car. What a great car. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> Perfect green car for the 420 episode. Definitely want to get me one of those. But anyways, I digress. Here, just check it out, check it out. Pretty awesome. All right, so it's like a neon green. So today, in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about, uh, you know, like the whole 420 thing. Now, more specifically, this video, more of a, yeah, sorry, this guy, almost, oh, this guy almost ran me over here, you know, coming in at full speed, anyways. So, um, back to what I was saying. Okay, so yeah, in this episode, we're just gonna be talking about 420. Look at this, we got dogs. What the hell, man? I got everybody wanting to say hi. Hey guys, hola, hola. So, anyways, it is very hot. It's like 40 degrees. Everybody's out and about, <laughs> you know, Jesus. Um, so, all right, let's get back to what I was saying. Um, so in this episode, we're just gonna be talking about 420 in general. Well, I'm gonna tell you about, um, you know, me a little bit, talk to you about about uh, my story, my experience out here, um, and a bunch of other random things, okay? Just a bunch of other random 420 related things. Now, if you wanna know more about the 420 laws, the four, you know, the, the marijuana cannabis laws, the, you know, the marijuana cannabis uh, situation out here in Mexico, you know, with the legality and uh, with all that stuff, then please check out the video that I also posted on my other channel today. Um, because today I posted two episodes, one on this channel and one on my travel channel. Because as you guys already know, if you guys aren't fully aware, I think you guys already figured it out, but I live out here in Mexico. And so, you know, the laws, the regulations, the customs, all of these things are very different out here. You know, just like they are in your neck of the woods or wherever you're from. Now. Let me dispel some of the myths, you know, um, when it comes to a little bit of the culture and some of the things out here and things like that. Um, the reality is, is that like, okay, first of all, one thing that I did not know um, when I first moved out here was I already knew that, you know, Mexicans smoke and it's part of the culture out here, but I had no idea that they were such big potheads, just like we are in, in, in you know, in the US, in Canada, and I think a good majority of the world out there. So there's like a big heavy um, culture and influence out here when it comes to that. And um, the people really, really do enjoy that. You know what I mean? Like they, they smoke it out here. Now there's different, hola. <laughs> there's different like laws and uh, you know, regulations, you know, when it comes to all that. But at the end of the day, it, it was, it's not really treated um, the way that other harder drugs, the other harder drugs and other harder um, things out there are actually treated. Um, so, you know, with that being said, you know, before it became fully legal, because by the way, that's what we're gonna be talking a little bit more here. It recently became fully legal out here in Mexico, you know, for, you know, for you to smoke, um, for you to have, um, you know, cannabis, marijuana, for you to, you know, just do anything within that um, realm. So this is why, you know, today is even more of a special 420 day. In fact, today, as you're watching these videos, there's also gonna be like a parade, um, and so it's supposed to be like a, like a gathering, you know, um, somewhere in Merida. Um, when it comes to that, I got invited to that, but I'm kind of trying to keep a low profile for now when it comes to things like that. And again, you know, guys, you know, there's other ways to make an impact when it comes to that. There's no, d d look, I come from uh, the U.S. and I came from a, from Florida where it was very highly illegal. I lived in Seattle and L.A. where very legal, and um, and yet even with the legality, there was always all these. Uh, you know, there's always all, all this trouble coming from the federal government and uh, coming from other entities out there. 
again, mafia style, just trying to get their own, trying to get their, you know, um, their money, their taxes, their whatever, you know. Um, the positive thing about out here is that it's going legal on uh, on a more um, on, on a federal level. Everything's gonna be. It's already medically legal, and as of uh, January of 2021, it is recreationally legal. Now, again, just like I was saying in the other video, you know, don't be going out there and smoking your your herb out here in the middle of the street you know don't be doing anything stupid you know in the sense of like you gotta treat it at least like alcohol i can't be drinking alcohol here i can't be giving alcohol to a minor so it's the same thing when it comes to marijuana um but again if you want to know more about the laws and you want to know, know more way more on that check out the other video in this video it's more like answering other kind of questions you know because like when i first came to mexico you know first of all when i first left the u.s at least for me personally, oof, it's very hot out today. Um, one of my main concerns, um, it's by the way, it's over 100 degrees. One of my main concerns when I first moved out here to Mexico was, what, would I be able to get my weed? Would I be able to get high quality or at least regular quality weed? And um, and how, you know, again, how accessible is it? Um, how is it treated out here? Yada, yada, yada. And as and for a lot of you guys that have been following me for years now, you guys already know it did not take me that long to get any sure I, I was getting the swag i was getting the crappy stuff at first but that's all i could afford but long story short you know once my finances got a little better i was able to get everything and anything in fact now fast forward to today because of the legality of things you can even purchase some of these things on facebook now again i would i would be very very careful you know with who you try to purchase these things from and and who do you, you know, who you try to, you know, um, ask and uh, look into, you know what I mean? To try to get you supplies. But long story short, it's not that hard. You can ask just a few people on Facebook. You know, you can ask a friend, you know, to ask another friend for you. Wink, wink. And, um, you know, long story short, it's not that hard to get. But all I'm saying is that now, as everything is getting more legal, you know, meaning that everything's legal. But now, you know, all they're doing is just working on the laws and just trying to figure out, you know, the bullshit, you know what I mean? The government needs to figure out. Um, people are already um, trying to capitalize on the business because that's it. Once it's legal, you can do whatever you want out here and it's up to the government to figure out the laws and figure out what the hell they're gonna do on their end. You don't have to wait for them. Again, more of that is explained in the other video. In fact, in the other video, there is also a link to an interview um, between lawyers, you know, Mexican lawyers and American lawyers talking more in depth about the legality. Um, if you're interested in putting a business out here, um, whatever it is, okay? So please, I would I highly advise to check it out if you're interested in that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, you know, people are already moving forward. And so, you know, I'm getting all kinds of things like uh, um, infused peanut butter, infused, you know, candies, um, you know, all kinds of uh, edibles, um, very high quality, very good. Um, you know, the stuff that they, they, you know, the smoking herbs and flowers out here are amazing. Um, everything's really, really, really good. Um, and this is already where we're at now. So imagine when things start really rolling out, they really start um, going through the whole process of, uh, of uh, having a store, having places where they sell it. Having, uh, you know, this stuff being manufactured on a more industrial level um, or having it being manufactured by smaller, you know, entities and, and, and small, smaller artisanal uh, groups and, and, and people and stuff like that. So the way I'm looking at it, it's like, wow, you know what I mean? I get to be here at the very, 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 very beginning as all this starts to materialize. And um, I probably would be able to, to um, capitalize on this in in a, in, a, in 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 that form, in the in the form of like, hey, I'm a business guy. Hey, I have information, a knowledge, you know, coming from the U.S. I also smoke. I can go on and on. And so for me, I'm looking at this with a big wide eyes. You know what I mean? Not just the legality of it, just for me personally and personal use, but everything that comes with it. Because again, it's legal on a recreational level on a state. I mean, I'm sorry. It is legal on a recreational level on a country wide national wide okay um status so meaning it is now completely legal all across mexico and it would be um the job of each individual i don't know state or area 
if they want to, for whatever reason, um, you know, what is it like make it illegal or make it non accessible, whatever. And which again, they would have to jump through a lot of hoops because it's like all of a sudden, like um, now it's fully legal under the constitution, under the Supreme Court decision. So it's like if all of a sudden, like uh, the Yucatan or Medida where I live here, you know, basically says breathing air is illegal. You know, again, I can easily challenge that and win that in a court. And on top of that, they really have no legal recourse or, you know, there's no penalty. There's no nothing. So, you know, that's kind of like where we're at with that, you know. So it is very exciting times. Like I said, you know, ever since I got here, I never really had any problems in accessing any of these goods. And, uh, you know, as time has gone on, in fact, where we are now, I definitely don't have any problems, you know, um, accessing these goods. In fact, again, there's special groups on Facebook that are already selling openly and already, you know, providing services openly, which again, I have never tried, but I would, you know, um, you know, just be careful out there at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, man, things are changing very, very quickly. And it is such an amazing time to be alive out here while the rest of the world is falling apart you know we out here you know building and rebuilding and you know making this place you know um even more world first was it even more first class than uh than anticipated all right guys i'm here at the mall so you already know how i can get in trouble with the camera at the mall <laughs> There's many incidents so let me go in there i literally just came in here to just buy a few things and uh get some money out of the ATM and then once I'm done with that we're gonna walk back home and we're gonna continue this conversation and keep celebrating 420 because man it is an amazing amazing time to be out here um, again 2021 I know a lot of you guys might not like it but man 2021 is beyond amazing so far I guess it just all depends on where you are so all right let me go inside and do what I got to do and I'll be back on my way out all right guys so i'm already done in the mall we're already done doing what we're doing and so now i'm heading back home and uh, we're going to continue this conversation Hello. <laughs> pero no, no, pero yo te entiendo lo que dice, pero por ley eh, yo yo tengo derecho a poder grabarme a yo mismo y a grabar eh, eh, todo, tú sabes, por ley. Lo que no puedo grabar ahí adentro y no puedo grabar ciertas cosas que entiendo, tú sabes. Exacto, exacto, no puedo, no, claro, no, no puedo tener la cámara apuntada. Yo entiendo, yo entiendo, yo sé, yo sé. Pero, pero me entiende, o sea, like, tú entiendes lo que quiero decir, ¿verdad? Si quieres, si quieres grabar. Va a pedir permiso No, pero yo no, yo no quiero grabar ahí adentro, so no, no tengo que pedir permiso. Afuera. Sí, puedo. Busca la ley. No, puedo. No pero muchas, muchas gracias. Ok. Hasta luego. Buenas tardes. So look, as I was getting started there, um, again, the same old thing. Hey, you can't be recording out here. You can't be uh, doing this. I'm not going to translate the whole conversation. I really don't care. I'm only keeping it on this channel and I'm keeping that whole thing here because, um, you know, because this channel is more about things like that. You know what I mean? Uh, like exercising your rights i'm not gonna put this on the travel channel you know hopefully you guys can you know watch both videos on both channels you know do all that stuff but yeah man you know what i mean you gotta you gotta know your rights in order to be able to exercise them and that's the fact all right so you know right there you know the guy's like hey you can't be recording out here this is a, a private business i mean a private area and i'm like you're right you're right i cannot i cannot like flip the camera around for example you know, again, according to the very loose law, that, which they can, you know, they can take me to court for without a problem. I'll, I'll, I'm more than happy to go defend my, my rights. So supposedly I won't be able to record things like this from this angle. OK, but the reality is, is if I'm filming myself, I'm filming my face and there's background behind me. They can't do anything about it. This is totally legal. Now, within the private um, property of inside their business you know they might be able to fucking say something and again in a sense they can even say something here it literally have to ban me they would have to go through this whole thing in order to uh, not allow me back here again um but you know we gotta you know again knowing your rights and why am i talking about this because it's all about the same thing when it comes to um the legality of this stuff in this country but anyways i digress you know that's the other video on my other channel talking about the legality of all this here but um yeah i just wanted to show you a little bit because I had a like, little conversation with the guy and I look and I, and I told him, look, I know my laws. 
all right and it's okay that you don't know your laws but it doesn't mean that you can come here and tell me what you think are the laws no i know what the laws are and i know what i'm what i'm rightfully able to do and that's what i'm doing i can you know do xyz but again i'm always uh threading that line i'm always you know whether it's these videos that i'm making or how i make them and where i film um but it is what it is you know what i mean i do this because you know i know that not many others out there are willing to do these things and talk about these things and and show you you know what i mean exercise my rights you know right there in front um you know as i'm recording you saw the guy he waved at the camera and everything and he's just you know like a lot of people you know doing as they're told and um and that's where we always uh, come into um situations you know because it's just a bunch of people doing as they're told and they don't even look into whether what they're doing is is either right or legal or any of that you know what i mean and um and that's the problem and so you know I, I just you know that guy was actually really really nice but there's a lot of people out there that are not so nice about it you know what i mean i've already had other confrontations with other security guards but no man you know what i mean at the end of the day the only ones that have any kind of say would be a police officer and if we were to call a police officer he would you know he would literally say you are right guy with the camera you can do this guy with the camera so because that's it i'm not going to tell him my name or any information because not only is he not going to ask but even if he asks that's when i tell him to go fuck himself and that's it that's where it ends because that's just the way it is but you know i don't know if you remember on the way over here you know i saw some cops you know in their car without their mask on and they looked at me without my mask on we waved hello and said hi when i was in another part of its centro yesterday when i was in another part of its centro yesterday with some friends we weren't we're not wearing our mask and we got stopped by cops wearing their mask and they were again telling us how we had to wear our mask i'm like no we don't no we don't all right and let me tell you why we don't and um all they did was like shake their head and walk away because that's all they could do so it's the same thing with all this stuff the reason i'm making these videos and especially on the other channel talking more about the laws and the legality out here is because it is a major situation where everybody has to um be fully aware of because you can get stopped by the wrong cop or the wrong you know security guard and they can make you shit your pants scared of what the consequences could be when the reality is that there are no consequences in fact let me break it down unless you have over 10 kilos of marijuana or cannabis you're not really doing anything illegal okay um 10 10 kilos is like over 20 pounds okay like 25 pounds it's a lot of fucking weed man all right i mean no matter how much no matter how much weed i'll smoke you know what I mean? even today you know what i mean <laughs> on 420 I, I, there's no way i can finish all that you know what i mean and no it's not you can smoke 10 kilos and it's not gonna kill you in fact i want to see if you can smoke it first but anyways i digress all right back to the to the point at hand so you know this is 420 and um there's a 420 weekend and uh, i have a lot we have a lot to celebrate in fact tonight later tonight um so today i'm recording this on a saturday a few days before the actual 420 but um later in a few hours i'm gonna be recording live um a special live stream on this same channel that you're watching this on talking about um you know talking about uh you know dogecoin and talking about uh the price increase and talking about you know the thing is that we have a lot to celebrate so this 420 is a ginormous celebration I normally don't celebrate 420. In fact, most of the time, 420 to me, it's just another day. It's just another, it's a Tuesday. You know, whatever, it is what it is, it's nothing crazy. In fact, this, this 420 is actually pretty special because it's Taco Tuesday and I'm in Mexico. I mean, fuck, can't get any better than that, right? Bruh. <laughs> Bro, anyways. <laughs> but the point I'm making is, is that you know um all of you guys out there you know no matter what you feel or think about the whole 420 thing you know you guys should be doing some sort of celebrating you know what i mean in one shape form or another that you know now this thing that for the longest time was uh deemed illegal and deemed you know one of the hardest drugs on the earth and all these other things is finally you know coming to light um all over the world that you know just like a lot of the things that have been you know told to us um, and now we're finding out their lies. The same thing with cannabis, you know, for the longest time, you know, we have been finding out the truth about cannabis, the truth behind the, the, the medicinal value of this, the truth behind all the awesomeness, the potential, the power that comes from 
this medicinal plant, this amazing plant that um, literally grows on every surface on earth. And that's how awesome this plant is. That's how amazing this medicine is. That again, if you're into God and you're into religion and you're into the universe and you're, you know, think about it. Everything around us was put here um, for us. Everything was put here in a sense, you know, we're all gonna have, we all have to work symbiotically together you know even with the guy playing the music there and we're all dancing and shit it's all like one symbiotic uh, thing you know um one ecosystem in which we're all supposed to be um one with it and and and, and it's supposed to be one with us and so go, coming back to like the whole cannabis thing same as mushrooms and same as things like that you know all of these things you know they're on mother earth and they're everywhere they're everywhere on earth and they're natural they're 100 natural and uh all these things are now you know, um, as each day goes on, they're more not just readily accepted, but they are more and more part of everyday life. You know, let's just go to mushrooms and things like that. You know, more and more people all over the world are using this as a as a medicine to treat depression, to treat, you know, so many um, ailments out there. Um, you know, whether people are microdosing or mega dosing or whatever they're doing. Um, but the same thing goes with cannabis. You know, a lot of people out there that have had you know major major addictions you know to like heroin or other opiates or other drugs you know this has been their savior you know where they get to now smoke something that is 100 percent natural and it's not going to kill them maybe make them hungry a little sleepy that's it you know not necessarily a bad thing um so you know we're living through beautiful times you know what i mean so at least for me this 420 i have a lot to celebrate um i got this amazing life you know that I'm, I'm living out here in mexico i got an amazing wife that i live with um i have an amazing uh you know i got the uh, an amazing uh youtube channel with amazing viewers and subscribers out there again don't forget to please like and subscribe but anyways <laughs> everything's amazing you know what i mean um now weed is totally 100 legal um i'm here so i can hit the ground running me and anyone else out there that, that uh, would like to to get in on this um and just so many things man you know again you know hype, the, the inflation hyperinflation thing is going on you know um you know a, a, a lot of us out there are millionaires <laughs> or whatever you want to call it you know just because you bet on yourself you bet on the you know against the system and now you know you're sitting here pretty pretty so you know at the end of the day this 420 sure you know what i mean like it's a pothead uh it's a pothead type of celebration. It's a weed head celebration. It's a celebration of cannabis. But, you know, I think that with everything um, that's going on in the world, I think that this plant in recent years has been helping everyone out there, you know, um, through the collective consciousness, you know, kind of become more aware of their surroundings and self-aware and just, um, you know, just open to change and open to all, all the you know a lot of the things that are going on right now in fact i think a lot of the people out there that are freaking out over the mask and are freaking out over a bunch of other things like that maybe they just need to smoke some weed you know what i'm saying that's all it is because i think that you know as more and more people are out there smoking and and, and participating and um you know and eating edibles and doing all that shit and all of a sudden like you know becoming one with themselves becoming one with the universe um in other words, chilling the fuck out for a little bit, people are starting to realize, you know what I mean? Like, oh, wait a minute. Why the hell are we doing this? Why are we wearing my mask? Why am I fighting with my fellow brother? Why am I this? Why am I that? And starting to question, starting to, to really contemplate what the hell is going on and what the hell they're doing. So, you know, again, you know, to me, this holiday signifies more each year as, as each year be, we become more awake and this medicine is literally the gateway drug to waking the fuck up and that's straight up because by the way you know people always talking about gateway drugs but i don't know about you guys i'm pretty sure it's the same story the real gateway drug is alcohol and that's not a good thing it's great it's fun don't get me wrong but it's not something that's not going to be enlightening you and uh, you know raising your spirits and your your mind and your and your thoughts and your intellect but mushrooms uh uh marijuana cannabis you know and other substances of uh, mother nature really are doing these things so i think that's that's basically it i mean i'm basically already here at the house um i'm sweating to the oldies out here minus the oldies and um that's it you know i um, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode um uh situation with the security guy included so guys you already know what to do if you like this kind of content 
don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon but more importantly than anything else please stay awesome thanks again for watching and uh hope you guys have a amazing 420 don't forget to smoke one for me or two or three or five or as many don't worry i'm gonna be there with you smoking it up thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one bye